Hello, and thank you for joining me, Shani Lee, for the side opening vinyasa flow. So today we'll be working on opening up the lats and the side body. So it'll be a nice, big opener, nice juicy flow. So thank you for joining me and I'll see you on the mat. So we're going to get started here today in Baddha Konasana, butterfly pose. If that doesn't work for you, you can just have your legs in a regular cross-legged seat. I like to hold my toes and your legs can be as close to you or as far away as you like. And we are going to settle in here for a few moments. <sighs> Opening up a little bit here in the hips in the beginning, which will Help us open up deeper into the side body later on. So we start to slow our breath and deepen it. If you like, you can join me in Samavriti breath, which is just equal parts breath. Breathing in, holding, exhaling, and waiting for four counts each. Exhaling everything out and inhale. Three, four, hold your breath here. Three, four, exhale it up. Four counts, wait. And breathe in again. So if you want to continue doing that, four, 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 four. Last time here, breathing in for four. Holding for four. Exhaling in four. Waiting for four. And then as you're ready, you can slowly start to open up your eyes, taking in the light again. Exhale, side out. And maybe you start to invite movement in your neck if that feels good. Throw one more round of breath here. And come back center. And sitting up nice and tall here. Inhale the breath. And exhale, start to bow it forward. And from here, you can start to sway back and forth, gently starting to open up into the side body. And then from here, if you want, you can start to extend your hands, maybe rainbowing them around. One more round of breath. And come back center, roll the spine up. And now we're going to open up our legs into a V shape. And on your next inhale, arms sweep up into the sky. And exhale, reach it up and over towards the right. As we start to open up into the hips, into the side body. One more round of breath here. Inhale to reach up, and exhale, take it over to the other side. One more round of breath. Exhale, side out. Inhale, roll the spine up again, and now bring your right foot in towards your left leg. Arms reach up, and exhale, extend it over again. Nighty nice big stretch into the side body. One more round of breath. Start to bring it up, inhale, extend your leg out, and now cross the other leg in, and we'll take it to the other side, breathing in, and breathing out. 
So side out. Inhale, breathe it in and start to bring both legs in and we'll take it to a tabletop pose. We're leaning over and adjusting as you see fit. Hands beneath your shoulders, knees underneath your hips. I'm doing some cows and cats here to wake up. Inhale, start to drop your belly, shine your chest forward, gaze up. Exhale, tuck it in. Cat pose. Inhale, Bhutilasana. Exhale, Marj, Ayasana. Pushing your shoulders towards the sky. Last time, inhale. And exhale. Inhale, come back center. <clears throat> and ground down. If you need to change anything, you can. And then start to extend your right leg out. Maybe you stay here, or maybe you lift your leg up into the sky. Hold here. One more round of breath to activate the core. And then turn your toes slightly out. Exhale, crunch your knee in towards your elbow and extend it back out. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. And extend it back out. And now start to kickstand your left foot over. Put your weight into your left hand and extend your right arm into the sky. Parigasana gate pose. If you want to drop your bicep over your ear, if that's a lot, you can drop your back foot onto the mat and really open up into the chest there. Whatever feels best for you. One more round of breath here. If your leg is on the mat, keep it there. Otherwise, maybe try to lift it up if it already wasn't. And exhale, crunch it in. Inhale to extend. Exhale to crunch. Inhale, extend. Last time here. Exhale to crunch. Inhale, extend. Maybe you stay here. Maybe you start to bend your knee, grabbing your back foot and really opening everything up. One more round of breath here. Slowly with control, start to release. Bring it back down into the mat, into tabletop pose. And we'll take that to the other side. Readjust as you need. Exhale, side out. And now left leg extends behind you, either toes still on the mat or lifting your toes up into the sky. One round of breath here, staying square to the mat. And then left elbow tries to meet left knee. Exhale. Inhale. Kiss your knee towards your elbow. Inhale, extend. Exhale. And extend it back from here. Kickstand your right foot out. Weight in your right hand. Left arm reaches up into the sky. So again, maybe you keep your left leg lifted. Maybe you drop it to the mat. Maybe you drop your bicep over your ear, whichever works for you. One more round of breath. If your leg is on the mat, lift it up. And exhale, we'll find our little crunch. Inhale. And exhale. Feel the open. Feel the crunch. Inhale, extend once more. And now swing your hand around. Try to grab your foot if it's available to you. And open everything up. One more round of breath here. And slowly start to release, coming back into tabletop pose, readjust. Inhale the breath. Exhale, side out, start to tuck your toes and lift your hips and move them back towards downward facing dog, getting right into it. Maybe you pedal your feet out if that feels good to you. One more round of breath here. Turning down on all 10 fingers. Exhale, side out and start to find center. There's a lot of flies if you see me <laughs> swatting around. Inhale, lift your heels. Exhale, bend your knees slightly. Coming in towards almost like a crouching tiger. And then start to twist your hips to one side and the other. You can also bend your elbows as you see fit. Oh. 
One more cycle of breath here. And take it back center. Exhale out. Inhale, heels lift again. Bend your knees a little more generously and exhale, step or hop your way to the top of your mat. Halfway lift. Exhale, fold it down. Uttanasana. Lifting all the way up, arms reach up into the sky. And exhale, hands come heart center. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, fold. Stay here. Inhale, left hand stays. Exhale. And extend your right arm to the sky. If you want to bend into your left knee, you can. Gives you a little more room. Exhale, fold, and take it over to the other side. Right hand stays towards the mat. Maybe you bend your right knee if that helps. Open your left arm to the sky. One more round of breath. And exhale, reach it down. Halfway lift, inhale, find your flat back. Ardha Uttanasana, bend your knees, plant your hands, and step or hop your way back to plank. Inhale here. And so waking up a little bit, exhale, drop your knees, keep your elbows in as you drop your chest, slither on through, through your upward cobra, or upward facing dog, or rising cobra. Exhale, start to roll over your feet as you lift your hips and send them up and back. Downward facing dog. One round of breath here. Exhale, side out, left foot stays, right leg lifts up into the sky, scorpion leg your dog. Open up into the hip, open up into the side body, but also feeling the side body work here. Try to stay square to the mat. One more round of breath. And exhale, start to draw your knee all the way through you, towards your chest, setting it between your feet. Rise up, high lunge, Anjani Asana pose. If this is a lot, you can drop your back knee. One round of breath here. And then start to drop your right hand, either hanging to the side or on your hip, and extend your left arm over. Doing this nice big stretch through your psoas, through your hip flexors, through your side body. One round of breath. Exhale, side out. Inhale, arms lift up into the sky. Exhale, hands plant to frame your foot. Step it back and move through your flow. Maybe this time you lower through chaturanga. Maybe you do your knees, chest, chin. Either way, upward facing dog or cobra. And we'll take it back to downward facing dog. One round of breath here. Exhale, side out. Right foot stays, left leg lifts up into the sky. And bend your leg. Open your hip, scorpion leg your dog. Keeping your shoulders square to the mat here. One more round of breath. And exhale, step your foot all the way through your hands. Stay high on your back knee, lift it up high. Anjani Asana, crescent moon, crescent lunge pose. Take one more round of breath here. And exhale, drop your left hand into the air onto your hip. Extend your right arm over. Nice big stretch here. One more round of breath. Exhale, side out. Both arms lift up into the sky. Big breath in, big breath out. Hands frame your foot, foot steps back. Move through your vinyasa flow. We'll meet in downward facing dog. One round of breath here. Exhale, side out. Inhale, heels lift, knees bend, gaze forward, step or hop. Exhale towards Uttanasana, top of your mat. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, bow it down. Rise all the way up, inhale. And exhale, hands, heart center. Take a moment here. Side out. Inhale, arms reach up, and this time, right hand grabs left wrist and extend it over towards the right. Imagining that you're still maybe between like two panes of glass. 
Keeping your body nice and straight. One more round of breath here. Inhale, lift it up, switch your grip, and take it to the other side. One more round of breath. Inhale, lift up, release, and exhale, fold it back down. Inhale, halfway lift, hands come right beneath your knees or stay on the mat. Exhale, move through your vinyasa flow. Breathing in, open your chest, and breathing out to find downward facing dog. One round of breath here. Exhale, side out. Inhale, right leg lift, scorpion like your dog, open up your hip. Exhale, draw your knee through your chest, moving through a plank, step it through, and this time back, drop your back heel, 45 degrees to come into Virabhadrasana one. Warrior one. One more round of breath here. And then exhale, start to fold your chest over your front leg as you swing your arms back. And inhale, breathe it through. Exhale, swing it back. Inhale, lift. Exhale, swing back. Inhale, lift. And now this time when you fold over, keep your arms extending out. Feel the strength in your side body and your lats as they reach for the sky. If you want to imagine that you're holding a ball, maybe the sun, maybe the moon, whichever you want. One more round of breath here. And then start to slowly shift your arms over towards the upper corner of your left, the upper left corner of your mat. And exhale, start to drop your hands towards the mat to come into what I like to call warrior dog. So it's like you're trying to find downward facing dog almost in the upper back, but your legs are in warrior one position. One more round of breath here. And then using your force, start to push into your heel to lift everything back up as you straighten out, big chest opener. And exhale, hands come to the mat, frame your foot, step it back, move through your vinyasa flow. Exhale, we'll meet in downward facing dog. One round of breath here. Side out, right foot stays, left leg lifts up into the sky, warrior or scorpion leg your dog. One round of breath more, and exhale, side out, step it all the way through, back heel back down, 45 degrees, arms rise up into warrior one, Virabhadrasana one. One more round of breath here, and then we'll find our flow, exhale, fold your chest, swing your arms back, and inhale, bring it up, exhale. And inhale, exhale, inhale, lift up. And this time on the exhale, keep your arms reaching out as you extend forward. Hold here, one round of breath. Exhale. And then start to slowly adjust towards the upper right, hand to corner of your mat, and then fold here, finding Warrior dog. So your legs are still in warrior one. Your upper back is almost trying to find Adamukha Svanasana. One more round of breath. Using your force, ground down in your front heel. Start to lift it back up as you straighten everything out. And exhale, fold, we'll find our vinyasa. Exhale, meeting in downward facing dog. One breath here. Exhale, side out. Inhale, lift your heels, bend your knees, gaze forward, step or hop to the top of your mat. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Rise all the way up, inhale. 
Exhale, hands heart center, moving right back down. Inhale, lift up. Forward the Hastasana. Exhale, Uttanasana, pour back towards the earth. Halfway left, find a flat back and cobra, almost in the chest. Bend it down and find your way back to Adho Mukha Svanasana. Take a round of breath here. Exhale, side out. Right leg lifts up into the sky. Bend your knee, scorpion leg your dog. Maybe try to open up just a little bit more here, really lifting your knee into the sky. One round of breath. Adding movement this time. Exhale, shift forward into a plank. Bring your knee into your chest and extend it back. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale. Exhale, hold here. And then step it all the way through. This time back heel back and down 90 degrees. Cartwheel your hands up into a warrior two, Virabhadrasana two. Shoulders melt away from your ears. One round of breath here. Exhale, side out. Drop your back hand, extend your other arm into the sky. One round of breath here in reverse, where you're really feeling how it's opening up into your side body. And exhale, front elbow towards front knee. Extend now your left arm over your head. One more round of breath here, and then we'll find a little bit of a flow. Inhale, sweep it back up. Exhale, sweep it down. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale. And exhale. And now maybe you hold here, or if you want, you can extend one arm out, really feeling into your stretch. Imagine that you're holding the ball again. You see me moving a lot, it's because I'm trying to swat flies away. And if I seem a little distracted in the teaching, it's because there's quite a lot of them right here. <laughs> One more round of breath. Exhale, side out. <sighs> Inhale, warrior two. And exhale, hands come to the mat and move through your vinyasa flow. And we'll all meet <sighs> in downward facing dog. One round of breath here. Exhale, side out. Right foot stays, left leg lifts up into the sky. Scorpion leg your dog, and this time try to lift your knee just a little bit more into the sky. One more round of breath, and then we'll find our knee to chest. Exhale, shifting forward to a plank, draw your knee in. Inhale, extend it back. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale, draw it in, hold here a second, and then step it all the way through, back heel back and down, 90 degrees. Cartwheel your hands up into your warrior two, Virabhadrasana two. Grinding down through the outer edge of your back foot. One round of breath here. And exhale, back hand drops down, front arm lifts up into the sky, reverse your warrior. Enjoy the stretch. And next exhale, front elbow towards front knee. Other arm reaches over, bicep over ear. Enjoy this stretch, extended side angle. One more round of breath. And inhale, reverse your warrior, finding a flow. Exhale, elbow down. Inhale. And exhale. Last time, inhale. And exhale, extended side angle, option to stay here or option to float your hand above your head. Imagine that you're holding a ball if you want. Really feeling a nice long stretch, big work. <sighs> Staying grounded through the front heel, still one more round of breath. Exhale, side out. And on your next inhale, lift up into your warrior two and move through your vinyasa flow. Exhale, hands reach towards the mat. Elbows stay in as you lower halfway down through Chaturanga. Hips drop, chest open as you breathe in. Urdhva Mukha Svanasana, Upward Facing Dog. And hips move up and back as we find Downward Facing Dog. Big breath in. Big breath out. <sighs> Inhale, lift your heels, bend your knees, gaze forward, step. Or hop your way to the top of your mat, Uttanasana. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale down. 
Rise all the way up, arms reach up into the sky. Exhale, hands heart center. Moving right back down, inhale. And exhale. Inhale. Breathe it out. Step or jump. We'll meet. Exhaling and downward facing dog. Big sigh out. Next, inhale, right leg lifts up into the sky, scorpion leg your dog. And now this time you can stay here or if you want to drop your foot behind you and move into your wild thing, you can. Really pushing your hips up into the sky. If you want, you can kind of hold your head with your hand, feel how that feels. Whichever works for you, just a nice big stretch in the side body here. One more round of breath. With control, start to slowly bring your hands to the mat. Bring your knee in towards your chest. Nice fluid movement. Step it all the way through. Back heel back and down. 90 degrees. Cartwheel the arms up. Warrior two. One round of breath here. Exhale, side out. Inhale, start to straighten into the front leg as you bring your arms overhead. And exhale, sink down. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale. Keep your legs here, exhale, hands come to a T. Reach forward and then drop your front hand towards your front shin, reaching your left arm into the sky as we find triangle pose, trikonasana. If you have a block, you can place it on the inside of your foot. If it's available to you, you can reach for the mat towards the inside of your leg. You can increase this by extending your left arm over your ear, whichever feels good for you. For one more round of breath. Exhale, side out. And then wherever you're at, start to slowly roll your chest forward as you swing your front foot so that your toes are pointing towards the long edge of your mat, coming into a wide-legged forward fold. One round of breath here. And either stay or if you want, you can start to find movement, swinging back and forth. Kind of like we did in butterfly pose earlier. One more round of breath here. And slowly start to walk your way back forward, swinging everything back into a high lunge or a runner's lunge and step your foot back and move through your vinyasa flow. We'll meet as we breathe out in downward facing dog. Right foot stays, this time left leg lifts up into the sky. On your inhale, bend your knee and stay here. Option to drop your foot over, opening up your chest towards the sky, finding wild thing on the other side. Three more rounds of breath here. One more round of breath. With control, start to bring both hands down to the mat. Just draw your chest in, or your knee in through your chest. Step it all the way through, back heel back and down. 90 degrees, cartwheel your arms up. Warrior two, Virabhadrasana two. Wander under breath here. Straighten your front leg, inhale, arms reach up to the sky. Axle down. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale, legs stay where they are. Exhale, hands come to your T. Reach forward and exhale, drop your front hand towards your front shin, the inside of your leg, a block, the mat, whichever works for you. And if you want to intensify this, your top hand can drop over your head. <sighs> Breathing in here. Trikonasana triangle pose. One more round of breath. And then exhale, start to cave your chest forward as you let both toes, sets of toes, come to point to the long end of the mat, finding your wide-legged forward fold here. Breathe in, maybe halfway lift. Breathe out. Breathe in, halfway lift. And then this time walk your hands over towards the back of your mat or wherever you want to start. Maybe you grab your ankle, maybe your hand stays on the mat, open. The other arm into the sky. Nice big stretch here. One more round of breath. Exhale, release, and make your way over towards the other side of your mat. Opening up. Breathe in. 
One more on the breath. Exhale, release. Come back center. Inhale, halfway lift to reset. And walk your hands over, shifting everything back towards the top end of your mat to step it back and find your vinyasa flow. Breathe in. And breathe out. One round of breath here. Exhale it out. Inhale, lift your heels, bend your knees, gaze forward, step or hop to the tops of your mats. Inhale, half lift, Ardha Uttanasana. Exhale, bow it down. Rise all the way up, arms reach up into the sky. And exhale, hands come heart center. So we're gonna play a little bit with balance. And last little bit of strength here before we bring it down to the mat. Arms reach up. And exhale, fold, stay here. Inhale, halfway lift. And if you want blocks underneath your hands, that can help. Exhale. And inhale, start to extend your right leg into the sky, finding a standing split. Holding here, lifting up with your glute. Now turn your toes out and start to find your weight in your left hand so that you can open your right arm into the sky, Ardha Chandrasana. Maybe you stay looking down. Maybe you look forward, maybe you look up. And then if you want to intensify this, you can start to bend your knee, grabbing your foot like we did in gate pose and opening up into candy cane. One more round of breath. Slowly release, keep your leg extended, let your hands find the mat, square your hips back off, and you can either step back or if you want to one-legged hop back, you can, finding a three-legged plank and moving in through chaturanga from there. We'll all meet in downward facing dog. Inhale here, exhale out. Inhale, lift the heels, bend the knees, find your way as you exhale to the tops of your mats. Breathe in, finding a flat back of cobra in the chest. Exhale, pour back over your legs. And arms sweep up into the sky. And exhale, hands come heart center. Doing that now on the other side. Inhale, reach up. And exhale to fold. Halfway lift, inhale. Exhale, stay here. Adjust your rounds as you need. And next inhale, left leg extends into the sky. Standing splits, hold here for a second. And maybe you stay here. Then if you want, start to open your toes out towards the side, weight in the right hand, and open the left arm into the sky, Ardha Chandrasana on the other side, lifting with your heel, lifting with your glute. And then from here, if you want to find candy cane pose, bend your knee, grab your foot, and open your hip back up. Three more rounds of breath wherever you're at. One more round of breath. Exhale, slowly start to release your foot. Keep it lifted though as you square everything back off to the mat. Hands find the mat. Inhale, open the chest just a little bit more. Exhale, bend your knee and maybe one legged hop back and move through your vinyasa flow. We'll all meet in downward facing dog. Let's take three rounds of breath here. Last downward facing dog of the practice, grounding down on all 10 fingers. Maybe your heels reach just a little bit more for the mat. Last round of breath. Exhale side out. And if you know you can jump right on through to Paschimottanasana or straight leg seat, you can. Otherwise, find your way as you see fit to come onto your seat with your legs extended. Taking a breath here. Exhale, side out. Inhale, arms reach up. Exhale, bow it forward. One round of breath here. Exhale, side out. And then let your left hand grab your right foot and walk your right hand out a little bit more. Maybe you walk both hands out to the outside of your right leg. Just feeling a little bit of a different stretch there. One round of breath. Exhale. 
take it to the other side. Exhale, start to come to center, roll the spine up, and as you do, bring your right knee up with it, and either stay here and hold your leg, we're going to find a twist, otherwise step your foot over your knee, in arms, reach up, right hand goes back, the outside of your left elbow crosses towards the outside of your right knee, finding Ardha Matsi and Dharasana, Half Lord of the Fish's Pose on the other side. <sighs> Two more rounds of breath here as we start to slow it down. Last round of breath. Exhale, start to unwind. Inhale, lift the leg up, extend it back out, and we'll come to the other side. Now bring your left leg in, either stay here, cross it over, either way. Sitting up nice and tall, arms reach up as you fill your lungs with air. Exhale, left hand comes to support you behind as you cross the outside of your right elbow towards the outside of your left knee, finding Narada Matsyandrasana on the other side. Nice and tall in the spine here. Maybe with each exhale you twist just a little bit more through the upper back. Two more rounds of breath here. Last round of breath. And exhale, start to unwind, extend it out. Sitting up nice and tall, breathe in. Exhale, breathe out. And then he'll breathe in again. Exhale, breathe out. Last round of breath. Exhale, side out. And if it works for you from here to just lay on back, you can. Maybe you want to add a little bit of ab movement by lifting your arms up and rolling back down. Otherwise, come on to your back as you see fit. For our last thing before finding Shavasana pose. Extending your arms up overhead. Exhale, side out. And now finding your reclined crescent lunge pose, walking your feet little by little over towards the right and then shimmying your body a little bit over towards the right as if you're going to make a half moon in your body, lying here on the mat. for one more round of breath. And exhale, start to take it over towards the other side. Maybe you call this banana pose. I like to think of it as a reclined crescent lunge pose. One more round of breath. And start to bring it back center. And then either lie flat on the mat, letting your hands fall by your hips. If that's a lot, exhale, slide out, start to come back center. And either stay here nice and extended, or you can find Shavasana by bringing your hands by your hips and settling in here. Starting to reconnect with your breath. If you want a longer Shavasana, you can always pause this video. If you need to stretch anything out, you can pause and stretch something out. Or after it ends, you're always obviously welcome to do any other stretches that you see fit today. Breathing in and out. a few more rounds of breath here. Let's take one more round of breath here. Big exhale, side out. Start to move gently if you already haven't. Maybe circling your wrists out or moving your toes, shaking your legs. I'm doing that mostly to keep the flies off me. If you like to roll up to a seat, otherwise maybe you bend one knee then the other and maybe drop to the side. However you need 
to come up into a seat to close out this practice together. Finding a comfortable seat, whether that's cross-legged or your legs extended, eyes closed, hands on your knees or heart center. Big breath in, big breath out. I hope you enjoyed this flow. I hope you feel a little more open. And as always, thank you for joining me, Shani Lee, and I will see you next time on the mat. The light in me honors the light in you. Namaste.